I want to talk about how to elevate your track and how to do grades. And this has been a really tough video because I've tried uh, other ways of doing it and the video has ended up 30 minutes long, which is way too long for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up and um, show you the three different ways to do it. And you can watch uh, all three of the videos or you can uh, skip to the one that you're interested in. So here's our track plan. And I made some changes on it. It um, was originally sectional track. I made it flex track because it's going to be a little bit easier to um, show you how to do grades with flex track. And I cut this curve into a couple of different pieces. And let's add one more cut here. And let's add a cut right here just for the heck of it. OK, so now we've got five pieces. So it's kind of like sectional track but we're using the flex. Uh, so I can show you how to do it manually here and then how to do it with long pieces of flex out here. But the first thing we want to do is we want to come up here to show. And we want to turn on slope percentages. And then that will put a number in here that tells you what percent grade you have. The next thing we want to do is we want to turn on height so we know how high our track is at each point. So right now, Everywhere we have a track connection, we have the nice little round circle that tells us that there is a connection point there. Watch what happens when I turn on height. It goes away. It becomes a zero. Got a zero here, zero here, zero here. It's telling us what the elevation is at each point. Now, if I want to see that connection point, I can hover over it. And then I can right click and do whatever I want to that connection point. So let's build a grade manually. And we're going to use this inner loop to start with. And it has several different connection points. So you could imagine that this is a very long stretch of track. It could be straight. It could be curved. But um, we're going to build this manually. So we want it to come up to 2 inches. So we'll come down here to the switch. And we will set the switch's height at 2 inches. All right. Now. It says 37.5% grade on this first section because it's going from 2 here to 0 here. And over here it's 24.7%. Um, and the difference in the percent of grade is how long this piece of track is. From here to here, it's longer than it is from here to here. So that's why the difference in grade. So now we have to figure out what each point needs to be to keep a fairly constant grade. And... I know from playing around that 4.1% is what this grade would be. This point here is halfway, so we know that that's going to be 1. So let's start there. We'll set that to 1. So now we got an 8.4% grade from here to here. So if we can pretty much take a guess. Let's say... Um, We'll set that height at 0.6 inches. Let's see what we get. Now we got 4.8 from there to there and 3.4 from there to there. So we guessed wrong. Let's try it again. Let's say 0.5. Pretty close. Pretty close. We got 4% and 4.2%. We could live with that, but we could try and get it a little bit closer if we wanted. Let's try 0.45 and see what we get. Nope, wrong way. Let's try 0.55 and see what we get. We're still off. So you can see it's a guessing game. I'm going to go back to 0.5. So we got 4, 4.2. Now, we need to figure out this little section right here. So we're at 1 here, and we need to figure this guy out. So let's say it's 1.25. And we get a 4% grade. So we're pretty close. And then over here, it's not quite halfway between here and here, so it's not going to be 1.5. Uh, let's take a guess. 
let's say it's 1.7 inches. Nope, these are going to, going to need to be a little bit higher than that. Let's go to 1.8. We're close, but as you can see, we don't have a constant grade all the way around, and you have to keep guessing and guessing and guessing. That's not really the best way to do it. Now, out here, it's kind of easy because we know this is going to be 2. We know the halfway point is going to be 1. So we're going to set the height of this piece of track to 1. And as you can see, we have a constant grade on either side. So when you have a section like this, setting the grade manually is pretty easy. But when you have a complicated section with a lot of different pieces of track, uh, it can get quite complicated. So let me reset this to uh, our original drawing. Let me show you another way to do this. So we're going to set this guy to 2. Enter. All right. So now we've got our high grades again. We can come up here. We can right click and we can say create slope. Now, this little box pops up and it wants to know our starting point, which is zero. We it wants to know it wants to know our end point, which is two inches. And it wants to know what kind of grade we want. So we know it's 4.1% because I worked that out earlier. So I'm going to put in 4.1%. Now, what direction is our grade going? It's going east. It's going this way. If I said west, it would build it around this way until it got to that two inch point right there. So we're going to say east. We're going to hit it. And as you can see, it built a 4.1% grade. Now, so let's say I didn't know what that grade was. So let's take that out. Come back up here and say, create slope. And I wanted it to be, well, let's uh, keep it at three. Endpoint height is two, slope percentage is three. Now watch what happens. Hit OK. 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%. Yeah, that's pretty good. But it pushed our two inches all the way back to here in order to maintain that 3% grade. So. If you put in a grade that uh, is too low, it's going to move your endpoint height back. All right. Let's undo it. And let's do it one more time. Let's say create slope. And this time, let's do it at... This time, let's do it at let's say 5%. Okay, so our 2-inch point is still here, but watch what happens to our slope. We've got a 5% here, we have a 5% here, we have a 5% here, and then it changes to 3.7% along here. And the reason it's doing this is it's looking at each the length of each of these sections and changing it. You'll notice also that our two inch point moved to here. Okay, let's leave that and let's say we want to bring a grade up from this side. And um, what we're going to do here is we are going to cut this piece of flex, cut it there. And now we have three pieces here. We're going to raise them to two inches to match this. Now I can hold down control and I can select multiple pieces. I can right click and I can set the height for all of them. So they're all going to be two. We want our zero point to be right about there. We're going to hit create slope. And point's going to be two inches. And let's say, oh, three, three percent. We want to go west because we're going this way. There's our slope. 
3%, 3%, 3% there, then it changes to 2.3. And it actually moved this piece to two inches because it said with that grade, I can hit two inches here. One more thing before we go, let's add some elevation to our industrial siding. So let's go over here, let's select the switch. Let's select that piece of track. Let's give them a height of, say, two and a half inches, because they're coming up from two inches down here. We'll hit OK. So I got a 2.8% grade coming up. Now we want to put an industry up here. So let's um, stretch this track out just a tiny bit. And we want our building to be somewhere in here. So let's cut our flex. Select this guy. And let's make him a little bit higher. Let's make him, say, at three inches. So as you can see, we got a pretty good slope here. Now I could do two things. I can um, go here and say create slope. Starting at two and a half. I'm going to three. Uh, the slope is probably somewhere around uh, two percent. We're going to go east because we're going that way. Hit OK. And there we got two percent there, one percent there, and it comes up to three. And this whole section is at three, so your cars won't go rolling backwards. There's one other way to do that. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. I'll explain uh, this a little bit more in the next video. But there's another function. I can click on that track, hold down control, click on that track, and you'll see I have smooth slope up here. Click that. Now we've got a constant grade of 1.9% coming up here. And I'll explain the smooth slope in the next video. It's, it gets kind of complicated, but that's two ways that you can add elevation to the industrial siding. So that's two ways to build a grade, one doing it manually and one doing it with Create Slope. And it also shows some of the oddities about uh, Create Slope. In the next video, we will go over Smooth Slope and how it does and does not work. As usual, any comments or tips on uh, this video, please let me know. And we'll see you next time when we tackle Smooth Slope.